So hello there, my name is Emma and today I will do day 20 of this yoga journey that I am following. I think I am on day 20, okay? They are all pretty similar I think, but I'm hoping that I haven't done this day, okay? <clears throat> Yeah, and uh, if you feel inspired to follow this yoga yourself, I recommend you checking the link in my description. And uh, yeah, follow that video instead because I ain't no professional, okay? And yeah, Julia, Julia the dog is here. And she decided to move her bed a little bit closer, okay? Her bed was in the corner of the beginning of this week, okay? Um, I feel like she likes to have her bed around this area because there's the chair that I sit in when I watch TV and sometimes um, she doesn't get to sit me with me or she doesn't want to sit with me so I think that she thinks that this is a good place for her bed somewhere around here because I'm sitting there watching the TV so I'm looking towards where she's sitting okay and she's almost always looking at me if she's not asleep okay so I think that she think, thinks that this is a great place for her to sit okay because then I'm facing her okay and she's she maybe she feels like that is a bigger chance of eye contact with you me that I will communicate with her compared to if she was sitting in another place where um, I wasn't facing her, okay? But I prefer if she has her bed somewhere where she is not in my eye zone or whatever when I'm watching TV okay? because I find it a little bit annoying, okay? Even though I'm watching the TV, I still see her in the corner of my eye, you feel me? When she's in my eye zone, okay? But yeah, I usually let her have her bed wherever she puts her bed. Unless I really feel like the bed is in the way. Or if, yeah, if I'm cleaning or something. Or sometimes, I'm not always an angel, okay? Angel. Who the app said that you were an angel? But no, I get mad at mad sometimes, um, and I get mad at Julia sometimes. And when I get mad at Julia sometimes, I put her bed in the corner, okay? So I don't have to see her, okay? You feel me? I'm sorry if anyone thinks that that is rude, but. Yeah, okay, I think there's people doing much worse things to their dog. Um, you feel me? So moving her bed when I'm mad at her, I don't think it's the end of the world, okay? But yeah, as I said, sometimes I move her bed because the bed is in the way also, okay? Or sometimes I move... <laughs> And I'm not really mad at her, I'm just a tiny bit irritated where I feel like, I don't know, okay, I don't know. I just want my own song, okay. I would say that I'm kind of a lone wolf, okay. But I am accepting people and company or whatever when I'm in the mood for it, you feel me, okay. And. I could see myself having a partner, like a boyfriend or something, but then, uh, I don't know, maybe I have high standards or something, okay? I get super jealous super quickly, I won't settle for anything, you feel me? I'd rather be alone for the rest of my life or whatever than to be in a relationship that to be in a relationship with someone that is not 100% healthy. You feel me? Where everything doesn't feel 100% right, okay? So yeah, I might stay alone forever, okay? 
But the more I'm in alone, the more I'm getting comfortable with it, okay? Yeah. And the more hard it's gonna be for me to let anyone into my life, okay? But yeah, it's fine, okay? I feel like I've come to the point um, where I'm more happy about being... Like, you feel me? I'm comfortable with being alone. I have accepted it. But sometimes, especially when maybe if I watch a love movie or something, I start to doubt my whole situation. Like, I want someone, I want love, okay? But usually movies, love movies and stuff like that. It's not really like that in real life, you hear me? What can I say? I'm, I really like the picture. I like the picture of having, you feel me? I like love movies, okay? Like just because I don't feel like there's big, a big chance for me to find someone that I feel that I could live with forever. Doesn't mean that I hate like watching love movies or whatever, okay? I like, I don't mind being in that zone. Okay, and then cry for a bit <laughs> because all of a sudden I feel like, what am I doing with my life? Why am I alone? Okay, I need to find someone, okay? It's okay to be a little bit like that. That is how I grew up, okay? Before I started being intimate with people and stuff like that, meeting guys, I thought that love would be like it is in the movies, okay? Um, but yeah. So far what I have experienced in life, it's not like that, okay? But yeah, all I'm saying is I want the kind of love that is in the movies, you feel me? In those, in those romantic movies, okay? Otherwise, I'm not interested, okay? <laughs> but again, I'm fine with uh, the case that I may never find love like that okay because again it's real life okay but i bet that there are people out there a few people who are in a very loving relationship okay where they really can't see one like you feel me they have found the one okay and they are there for each other and everything you feel me? That is what I want. Like a best freaking friend. We always put each other first, okay? Um, so yeah, I guess it would be also good if I found someone who was a little bit of a long wolf like me, who doesn't have a bunch of friends. Because I just know immediately if I meet a guy and I feel like, oh, this guy feels like good as a person, but then I get to know that that person, when I'm starting to like have friends, I just know that it's not gonna work, okay? Because I am not interested <laughs> in getting new friends, okay? I just want one person, okay? I'm not looking for a whole package for them. Maybe that's the thing, okay? You have to accept the whole package, okay? No. But I don't want that, okay? I just, I'm looking for one person who doesn't have a baggage of friends and family, okay? I would be okay with one or two friends that this person meets once a year. <laughs> but you feel me? Because I'm looking for someone who is a little bit like me because I don't have a baggage of friends, okay? So why would I want someone who has that, okay? Who wants to see their friends every week. I totally get that there are people like that, but then I should not be with a person like that, okay? Because obviously it's not okay for me to forbid him to not meet his friends because I want him to be with me. Because that is how I feel, okay? And I can't help it, okay? Um, but then I have learned that it's better to find someone who doesn't have a bunch of friends, okay? Uh, because, I mean, it's toxic of me 
to say that he should not meet his friends because now he has me, you feel me? Of course this person shouldn't uh, end his life for me, you feel me? If he has friends and stuff like that. But then I have realized that it's better for me to find a person who doesn't have a life like that, okay? So I don't become toxic and stuff like that, okay? So yeah, if a guy has a bunch of friends or is super duper close with his family or has a big family or something like that, that he likes to meet like more than once here. Like I'm okay with meeting the guy's family maybe once a year or something but not more than that okay i'm not interested okay i just want this one person okay but i respect the people who has many friends and wants to see them every week and that has a family that they are very close to uh, and who likes to celebrate every single little holiday with them and maybe get together for random dinners but I'm not like that, okay? I'm not interested in a package like that, okay? and that is why I will stay alone forever in case you haven't known from me talking about this, okay? but I'm just honest, okay? Why the F did I start talking about that? I have no idea. I think, did Julia, I think she played with her toy. Okay, she's licking my leg right now. I don't think she was sitting there licking her JJ. <laughs> Maybe she was, okay. I was in my own mind trying to explain to you how I feel about the whole relationship thing, okay. I want a passionate, loving relationship where we both put each other first, always. Okay. But Julia, snälla rara. But I know that some people think that a person who doesn't have any friends um, like me are red flags. And I'll admit that I am kind of red flags, okay? <laughs> but for me, someone who has too many friends are a red flag for me, okay? So it's the same thing around, okay? I trust the person more who doesn't have weren't close to many people or you feel me no who are who has a small group of people that they are close to i guess rather than someone who has like a lot of friends okay you feel me so those are red flags for me <laughs> But yeah, I think it is like that because I didn't have many friends at school. Okay. Uh, oh, I need to focus. Uh. Film, I never got to hang around with the people who were in big groups and stuff like that so why would I trust those people in real life okay because those were not the people 
I grew up hanging out with a little bit like that, okay? No, but I have no idea why I started talking about this. Whatever, it's sunny outside, it snowed, started snowing last night. Uh, so there's a bunch of snow outside now. But it's actually around one degree Celsius now, right now, I think. But the upcoming days, it says that it's gonna like go back and forth being minus celsius degrees and then plus celsius degrees and then snow and then rain so yeah but it's looking really beautiful outside right now actually oh i do not like putting my face on this mat okay when julia is lying all over this mat okay i'm okay with my own bacteria but no and julia is included in this no Is this the end of the yoga? I felt like it has gone really fast, but maybe it is because I haven't talked to someone. I just know now when I have tried to under try to tell you how I feel about the whole relationship situation, I know then when I look at this video I'm gonna be like Oh no, they didn't understand what I meant. Oh no, that came out wrong, or that did not sound right, or oh, like I didn't mean it. You feel good to sound like that, okay? I just know it, okay? So yeah, but I've said this before. Don't take anything I say too seriously because just because I say, and I think. I don't know, just because I say something today doesn't mean I feel the same thing tomorrow, okay? And that is also the reason why I don't like the cancel culture that is very popular right now. That someone can dig up something about a celebrity that a celebrity said many years ago. Or even decades ago. And then they get shit for that or even cancelled for that. I just think that that is so wrong, okay? I have a chicken flame in the oven that I forgot to defrost. So it's a, I put in a frozen, almost completely frozen chicken filet in the oven, okay? I've never cooked a uh, frozen chicken filet before, but I found a recipe or like someone who like wrote online how to cook a frozen chicken filet and they said 175 degrees celsius was this this was not the same leg as before am i right uh, 175 degrees celsius for 50 to 60 minutes okay i'm starting to smell a little chicken in the house <laughs> a little chicken in the house. um No, but I'm hoping that it's done after this yoga because I'm hungry. I was hungry before this yoga also. So I got very happy now when I saw her because she's wearing kind of comfort clothing. Like, yeah, she's wearing a workout, tight workout pants, but she's wearing, wearing like a sweater. 
And when she's wearing a sweater, it usually means that it's gonna be a karma yoga. But there were some harder positions, I guess. But it, this was not the hardest yoga um, so far on this journey, okay? But yeah, hopefully the chicken will taste good even though it was defrosted when I put it in. And hopefully it's ready, okay? I'm not in the mood for waiting. <laughs> but yeah, I actually have to boil rice now also, so I'm gonna have to wait either way. And it says online also that you should let the chicken fillet rest for at least 15 or around 15 minutes before you cut it, okay? And it takes around 15 minutes to boil your rice, kind of 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. I think uh, jasmine rice is the easiest rice to cook usually. Now I only have like basmati rice or something it's called. I don't know, I bought another brand than I usually do, do um, on the rice. I think I bought Uncle Ben's or something it's called. I know it's a famous brand, but I usually buy a cheaper brand like that the store off offers. So if I would compare it, because you don't have the same stores in other countries as, you get me? The stores in Sweden that I shop at does, okay, let's say, let's say an American store like Target, okay? So if I would translate it to how I buy the rice in Sweden, I buy the Target rice, you feel me? I buy the store's rice, okay? I usually buy that, and I have bought basmati rice before from the brand, like the store. And from what I remember, it has been pretty easy to boil. But I prefer jasmine rice, okay? Um, but now I bought Uncle Ben's basmati rice, and I feel like it doesn't really soak all the water in, okay? It takes longer time, I don't know, okay? I think it was basmati rice, but all I'm saying is. The last couple of years that I have boiled rice, I haven't had that much trouble with boiling rice as I have with the Uncle Ben's rice, okay? No more. Oh, she has one hand in the hand, okay. Maybe that is a little bit more comfortable, yeah. And Julie is just looking at me while she's falling asleep. I just thought about it, I wonder what setting she's using when she's recording because her background is really light like mine but still she's looking really good okay, I don't know, okay. like the lighting is looking good on her but yeah the video is done, I'm really tired, we were out on a walk before this the short walk but still it's snow outside and you the camera stuff recording but uh wait like i'm seeing some people i think i know here out on the country i just wanna see the situation ah oh, yeah wait okay oh i missed them i don't wanna wait there's a car <laughs> I don't wanna. I know the people walking outside there, okay? I wanna wave to them. Because I think it's fun, okay? Yeah, it's definitely them. They threw a ball, okay? They don't have one.
there seeing me, okay? Yay. <laughs> yeah okay let's end this video thank you so much for watching this video uh yeah my ear is no no okay i hope you enjoyed it then leave a thumbs up follow me on instagram and tiktok my name is the same there i'm smart and subscribe to my youtube channel so you don't miss out julia went out in the snow so you don't miss out on when I upload any new videos. I hope you all are having a great day. See you next time. Bye bye.